so what I'm going to do is talk to you a little bit about the solar build that I put together for my summer house. I started off thinking that I would use my new uh, 50 watt solar panel bought for me uh, as, a, as a gift uh, when out camping. Um, but I quickly realized that, you know, honestly, it's it's far too big and bulky to carry around in that sort of way. So I decided instead on the idea of a solar installation on the roof of my summer house. So starting off with the very important point, which is that I am not an electrician and therefore not qualified to give you any uh, electrical advice. How have I gone about uh, putting together a solar setup? Well, we start off with a solar panel stuck to a roof uh, inclined towards the sun. And in this case, it's screwed onto the roof with aluminium brackets and with the cables run through and down to the inside of the summer house. The cables are then running to a solar controller, either an MTTP or a PWM via a circuit breaker. Uh, this is a very basic and cheap model indeed uh, of MPPT uh, that came with the panel and honestly I really wouldn't recommend it. Uh, it's hard to use, it's got terrible cable connections, uh, but it was free uh, and on that level it, it basically works. Um, we then have our batteries uh, and these are wired up in parallel, positive to positive and negative to negative. And then we run power from the MPPT to a fuse box and the fuse box uh, can power internal and external lighting as well as any low draw 12 volt appliances that we want to plug in and run within the summer house. So what to say about the various different pieces of kit which we bought uh, for this build? Well, this fuse box I think uh, works really nicely. The, the switches have got a nice positive feel to them and the power indicator seems to be accurate. Um, these lead on to two 1 watt uh, reading lights uh, which actually put out a surprising amount of light uh, for the, the size of them. And then outside we have um, these uh, garden lights um, which again will put out a nice uh, warm soft light uh, and really come into their own as it gets darker in the evening uh, and we're able to light up the garden. Now the fuse box uh, was from Amazon and there will be uh, links in the description for all of the different um, items that we have used here. Uh, and then turning round to the garden lights, uh, these come from a company called Sparkling Lights. Now I actually found it quite hard to find a suitable 12 volt lighting string, um, but these have been really great. Uh, no problems with them at all. Uh, easy to install, although actually I did chop off the ends which are supposed to uh, feed into either a, a, a 12 volt battery uh, or one of their own uh, bespoke controllers. Uh, and as with most of the stuff here, I picked up the batteries from Amazon uh, and really they appear to be holding up uh, very well. Uh, they cost around about £20 each at the point at which I bought them. Um, the brackets were also courtesy of Amazon uh, and they were just very easy to fit and, and I mean, you know, obviously a si simple item uh, and they're working uh, well to this, uh, to this day. And so too uh, with the exterior silicon um, black glue which I bonded everything to the roof with. Um, really horrible stuff to use, very very sticky, gets all over your fingers and everywhere, uh, but absolutely watertight um, and stuck really well even to um, the kind of asphalt roof of the summer house. And so of course to finish off we have the solar panel and the cheap and really not so cheerful MPPT unit. Uh, well I've searched but I can no longer find uh, any links through to um, these products and if I were buying now I'd probably start by assuming that most of the solar panels are of a fairly similar quality. Um, and I just simply pick one. 
I, I have to say I quite like the uh, look of this uh, Renergy panel uh, with solar controller and it's also got the uh, cables and the brackets included uh, but really for my money um, there, there are certainly some really good brands of solar panel people like SunPower uh, which tend to charge more and then below that there's all of the cheaper ones and frankly they appear to work and they appear to be of pretty consistent quality so I've included links for all of this stuff in the description and so I'd like to just say uh, if you've enjoyed and found this uh, content at all interesting it'd be fantastic if you could give me a little like and or uh, subscribe so you capture future uploads as I make them uh, and with that I'll say thank you very much for watching.